Hi everybody, this is Joe from VideoJoomlaTutorials.com bringing you another great Joomla tutorial. If you remember last time, where we left off was with the metadata and we told you how to change that. Next, I want to look at a few more things in the global configuration. First of all, the site name, which is this field right here. You want to make sure that this is correct. Next, you want to choose the correct editor that's for you. If you look here, right here, you can choose the no editor, which somebody familiar with HTML might prefer. If you don't know HTML, then you can choose this tiny MCE editor. Also, we'll show you how to load up a different editor in another tutorial. Next, SEO settings, search engine friendly URLs. At this point, don't touch it. In a later tutorial, we're going to change you how to change the configuration.php file and the Apache file so that you can have search engine friendly URLs on your site. Okay, next, the system page of global configuration. Okay, a couple things that you might use here. First of all, the help server. When you're looking for help in Joomla, it takes you to a server that give, provides you answers. Like me, uh, or if you're like me, you're going to keep it to English. But hey, if you're from somewhere else, maybe you can read Spanish better. Um, also, your user settings right here, whether or not you want to allow registration, things like that, you can change right here. We're going to leave that set. And then Debug settings, right now we're not debugging, so we're going to keep it how it is. Cache settings, we're going to allow Joomla to handle that how it is. Session settings, we'll probably, Joomla sets this at 15 minutes, I believe, which is a pretty short time, and we'll put it to 30 minutes. Okay, finally, the server settings. Um, again, you're not going to touch a whole lot in here but you may want to change like the time settings okay wherever you wherever you live I'd like to say I live in Hawaii but I don't um, but you're generally not going to change very much of this you're not going to change like the SSL settings unless you're doing e-commerce it's possible you could change that but Joomla allows you to do SSL by individual item um, the mail settings probably won't change that but you could change like who the the name of where the mail is from that might interest you and the server settings the database settings you're never going to touch those because once you change this then you're discon disconnected from your database and Joomla doesn't work anymore so that's all we're going to cover for this uh, simple to learn video uh, just remember when you want to make changes to this file you just hit apply up here and you'll make them. Next up we're going to be cover covering how to load up a Joomla template. 